Hello everyone and welcome back to The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. Last time uh, we made our way all the way from uh, over here. We, we put all the eyes together uh, down in the depths and unlocked this like merchant guy. Um, oh, I should also probably uh, delete these stamps. Last location. Okay, whatever. Uh, and then we went down from here and we unlocked this giant portion of the map, which includes uh, Gerudo Town. Ooh. I don't know if it's just the map. That place ain't looking too well. Uh, but yes, right now, as of current... Ooh, I also want to go check that out. As of current, we are currently heading up this mountain uh, to find the... Uh, reflection pool of a glyph uh, that we spotted that was up here. Okay, hold on. Come on. Here we go. Yeah, so hopefully it'll be up here and not at like the very top. So if it was at the very top, that would be very annoying. I believe it's going to be at the very top. Oh, no, 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 no. It's right there. It's... Oh, it's in the actual glyph this time, not just around it. All right. Let's see this memory. It's such a cool feature. Can't believe it took me, like, what? That 17, 18, 19 episodes, something like that, to figure out that this was a feature? Right. Ah, God. I only just forget about that. All right. Allow me to offer you my deepest apologies on behalf of the Gerudo. Whoa. Taking so long to accept your repeated invitations. It is our desire to be accepted into the protective embrace of your kingdom. To serve it faithfully. A welcome appeal, Ganondorf. I will accept your vow of fealty to the kingdom of Hyrule. I understand that a single male is born to the Gerudo every 100 years. Receiving such an appeal from you, a hero to his people and a king by birth, well, it is truly reassuring. Hi, Ganon. We used to be a Gerudo king. Your Zodai ancestors first descended upon these lands long, long ago. They must have seemed to be gods. And now you rule as king, and have taken a Hyrulean woman as your wife. Your majesty has certainly risen above your admirable lineage. Most impressive. It is unfortunate the noble Zonai no longer grace this world. <laughs> All except you and your sister, that is. Even if something were to happen to me, both my kingdom and the peace it brings, these will endure for generations to come. Yes, sister. Your actions today are appreciated. I look forward to your future endeavors. You may leave. Your Majesty. <laughs> Man, Ganondorf is ripped. Oh, and he used to be a Gerudo. Oh, are you? For that reason, and others, I want him close. Mm. It will be easier to keep an eye on him. There is nothing to worry about. Oh, 
Okay, so they met Ganon in person before he became a massive threat. So this is definitely before, because Sonya's still alive in this one, right? The, the queen of Hyrule. Yeah, so this is seven. So I've got... Don't have one. I have two, three, seven, and fifteen. Hmm. Interesting. Interesting. Um, you know, while I'm up here, why don't I try and get to that, uh... Because there, there, there's, um, I saw, it's not too far away, a, uh, another, uh, Skyview Tower. So I might as well launch into that. Boom. Ooh, yes. Raw prime meat, raw gourmet meat. I don't know why you get gourmet meat from wolves, but fair enough. Wild berry. Or wild berries. Cooking ingredient. Huh. Fair enough. I will take it gratefully and make many great foods with it. More. Don't mind if I do. I've got 14 of them. Alright. Let's start to climb. Maybe should not have jumped up that many times. Might not make it to the top here. Yep, nope. Okay. Try this again. Maybe I jump once there. Climb for a little bit. Once I get to a quarter there, I jump once more. Climb for a little longer. And then I'll either get to, uh, get to the top, or when I have a sliver left, I'll jump. Sliver left jump. There we go. Okay, well now I'm very tempted to just push that off the cliff. No, what? Come on, go off the cliff. Yes. That was that was nowhere near as satisfying as I thought it would be. What a letdown! Man, I love I love having these dudes along. They just, they look like even when they're not doing anything, when they're just like running with me, they look cool. Ooh, what is this? Hmm. Whoa! Ambush? Where am I being shot from? Whoa! Oh, plant dude. Prick. I'm just gonna ignore it. It's just a little plant dude. He can't do nothing. I mean, he can fire at me, but he's not gonna hit me because I'm too agile. Take some wild berries. This is definitely gonna be really good for making some food. Whenever I get to my next campfire. Uh, ooh, what's over here? Now, these are more of these, like, chill fruits that, uh, I think they, like, uh, they, yeah, they give you he heat resistance, I believe? Oh, hey there, wolf. Don't mind me. I won't be bothering you today. And over here... Hopefully I have enough stamina to get up here. Looks like there's like a lot of grasslands out there. I don't know what that is. I don't remember that in Breath of the Wild. But then again, that could have just been a part of the map that I didn't explore. Because I mentioned it before, but I, I, I never completed uh, the game fully. Uh, Breath of the Wild. Never completed it fully. I, I know how it ends, so I know that, like, you know, Ganon is, like, defeated. I mean, obviously Ganon's defeated. It's, you know, that's the, kind of the end of every Zelda game. Uh, ooh. 
What's in construction activity report? Who'd have thought a Skyview Tower could get snowed in like that? Just lucky that the cave we sort of construction materials in was safe. Flying back to make a report. Hmm. Whoa. Okay, so I need to find that cave and that'll get me in there. Hopefully. Where would I put a cave if I were the goddess Hylia? Good question. No idea. Oh, hello, buddy. You're gonna lead me to the cave, huh? Yes, lead me. Ah, there we go. It's right here. All right. Whoa! Give me a bunch of these KC eyeballs and wings. And a bunch of bright bloom seeds. Mind if I take these? Whoa. Flint, wood. Let's make a uh, raft, shall we? Should start to take me down once I get off the shore that is yeah here we go hmm Wonder what is this oh it's a chest oh good thing I can bring it aboard what's in it Ooh, a Gerudo bow this Gerudo made bow is popular for the fine Ornamentations along its limbs, designed for hunting and warfare alike. This bow was engineered to strike distant targets. Very, very intriguing. I do have to say. Well, now I can toss you down there. Wait a minute. I'll snipe you down there. Because we are also... Whoa, going down. Bubble jam. Here we go. Okay. And let's see. So we're right under the uh, thing. Take some ice fruit, some bright bloom stuff. What's through here? Secret chest behind the waterfall. Topaz. Ooh. Electricity. Okay, okay. So let's see. Hmm. What is the play here? should light up. Right? No? Well, let's get this. Let's raise this a bit. Yeah, boy. Alright. Whoa, whoa. Ah, no. Hold on. Get on here. Alright. Then up here. Come on. Really? Oh, you know what I probably have to do? I'll get this all the way over there. And then that'll flow back here. And then I can use the time ability on it. Uh-oh. Okay. Up here. Right here. Then you. Rewind. 
We can use this. What? Oh. Oh, wait, right here. Okay. No. Not quite. Right here. Yeah. Here we are. Nice. That'll light this up. And it is activated. <clears throat> Excuse me. Ugh. Alright. Boom, plug us in. Hopefully this thing still fires alright. Boom! <laughs> yeah! Ooh, whoa, look at that! This place is gorgeous. Orange going down, blue coming up. Surface map updated. Oh, so that's like Ganondorf kneeling. That's what that is. Okay. Sky map updated. Yeah, with whatever that big circular thing is. Or no, that's a different big circular thing in the sky. Hmm. Yeah, I have no idea what that is. Oh, a dragon! Hello. Hmm. Any other hilo hi 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 mm, words hiero hieroglyphs up here? No. Man, look at all that map that we've unlocked. I guess let's head into the uh, the desert. Or hmm, actually, let's uh. Let's head over to this one. This seems a little more centralized for it. Oh man, but there's also a bunch of stuff around here too that I want to check out. Here, I'll, I'll, I'll launch into the air and then while we're in the air, we'll figure out where we're gonna go. Right in here. Oh, I can probably get my normal stuff back on now. Get you on, and these on. Boom. Whoa! Hi, dragon! Oh my god, wait, I can get one of those scales! Oh my god, I'm getting a dragon scale. Absolutely right now. Okay, so I think, because I, I looked up how to get a dragon scale, and basically it's, you, you land on one of these, I think. Don't quote me on that. I think it's you land on one of these. Okay. That drop, that drop, that. Ooh. Shard of Ferocious Spike. Incredibly hard stone mined from a spike on Ferocious back. It's very destructive when fused to a weapon. It also imbues that weapon with the power to shock. Oh, don't mind if I take a bunch of these then. Oh, shit. <laughs> Hold on. Alright, just uh, remove that. 
remove that remove that and is anything I'm wearing no I'm just no don't fall off please I'm begging you whoa he's getting parts of his spike so then whoa I think I need to head towards the head if I want a scale Whoa. All right. Got to be very careful. Shard. Shard. I'm going to the head. Ooh. I need a bit of its horn, right? Hey there, buddy. Sorry, man. I'm gonna need to harvest a bit of your horn here. Oh god, I only have metal weapons. Oh, except for this! Ferrosh's horn! A sharp horn of the golden spirit Ferrosh. It is said to be the crystallized power of electricity itself. Attach the blade-shaped horn to a weapon to vastly increase the attack power. Okay. So it's like, I think it said you can only, oh, so that's, that's not a light scale. But hey, no, I'm, I'm definitely not going to complain. But I think it said, uh, you can only collect, like, one of those every, like, 12 minutes. Uh, so, I guess that's it for that one. So, but we actually, we got some stuff from this guy. Oh, ooh, yeah, he's creating, like, Updrafts. Yeah, let me just... I'll go along his entire body and just, like... See if I can't collect more of those, uh... Rocks from his spines. So those, uh, those appear to be doing a lot. I think that might actually have been all. So what happens if I... What... By curiosity, what happens if I attack this? Nothing. Alright. Well. Let's dive back down and teleport over here. But that's... Oh, that's really cool. So we got, we got dragon parts now. Oh my god, that's awesome. Okay, I didn't think that we'd actually be able to, like, gather that stuff anytime soon. Because I thought I'd have to, like, actively go after it. Which, I'm still gonna do that. I still have a plan. I want to, um... I want to try and get parts of the light dragon. And the light dragon, I believe, spawns somewhere in this area. Uh, because I do, I do want to upgrade this, uh, this champion's tunic. Alright. Oh, I should probably also, uh, re-equip my gear. Would be a smart idea. Uh, I'm gonna go after those statues over here. So that's, yeah, that's definitely another maze. Which is interesting. Hmm. Um, yeah, let me get my weapon back out. And my shield. And my bow. And none of my other stuff was affected by it. Thankfully, I don't wear any armor that uses metal. So otherwise, that would be very bad. Very bad indeed. Let me drop a bit. Unbearable cold. Oh, is it because I'm above these mountains? What the fuck is that? Hello. That looks more like a dragon. Let's go fight that thing. That definitely looks like something I can fight. Maybe. 
Unless that's just my my own d d cockiness talking. Um, they'll bring me down at 12. So no matter what I wear, they'll bring me down at 12. Might as well keep my iconic look. And grab that. Whoa. Yeah. Ow. 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 Dude, stop falling. Okay, so not the greatest entrance I've ever made. But not the worst either. Alright. Mm, let's fall back down here. Let me get our full climbing stamina back. Climb up here. Come on. Let's get up here. And I won't risk another jump, because I don't want to fall all the way back down. Get a little bit of stamina here at a time. Uh oh. Alright, there we go. So I can just stand there normally, and then I'll get past this and then gauge when to jump. If I want to jump. Hopefully this dragon is still up here, because I want to fight that thing. And there's the giant statues down there. Alright. So that's... Ganon bending the knee to the king. Oh, hey, there's one of those balloons. I can bring that guy some more uh, bubble gems. I'm sure he'll give me some more cool stuff for that. Is that a fucking hydra? I do believe it is. Okay. Before we go make mistakes that can't be undone, I should probably save. Oh shit, and it's a blood moon. Okay, yeah, no, definitely saving. Nope, I'm, yes, save. Alright, so. Probably want something a little better. Let's get this Black Boko Reaper out. That is shit you not. Like, you, you can't fucking make this up. That is a actual goddamn Hydra. Let's shoot it. Flame Gate Gliok? Whoa. Whoa. Hey, chill it up there with the flames, bro. Let's see. Got some PCI eyeballs. Oh, shit. Okay, hold on. All right. Didn't want to use one so soon, but we're using Royal Guardsman bows. Oh, God. Ooh. I should not be fighting this thing. Um, hold on, I want to see. I'm going to make the most powerful arrow I can. So I'm using the Royal Guard Bow and the Ancient Blade. Boom. What? I didn't do anything. Oh, okay. Yeah, no. Load this. Nuh-uh. <laughs> no, no, we're not fighting that. Yep. Nah. Mm-mm. That's... That is an exercise in futility. Or insanity. Or something at tea. But, uh, nah. Nah, I'm good. You, uh, you, you can chill there. Uh, Mr. Mr. Fucking crazy-ass Hydra. Yeah. Oh, my God. Wow. That... That's fucking, um... Yeah, that's, uh... That's, that's definitely a fight for later. And not for now. That was a little bit insane. 
Because you could... What, what? He can only be hit in the head? Is that what that was? Because, like, I used my most powerful bow with my most powerful arrowhead on him, and it did fuck all. Beast Gerudo Ruins. Control panel. Whoa. What is... Oi! Ow! You a shithead. You suck. Ow! Guys, can we kill him? Or actually, let me get this topaz rod out. Fry him. Uh-oh. Oh, what happens is, dude, when we're fighting him in the middle of a blood moon? suck. I don't think electricity works on him. Ow! Oh man, that used one of my great fairies. Or one of, not one of my great fairies, but one of my fairies. Ugh. Okay, whatever. Get some simmered fruit. Get health back up. Um, I guess I'll get this out. And I'll try and go after him with just arrows. Ow! Hold on. Get him with the white choo-choo jelly. There we go. Boom. That dude out of here. Gerudo Spear. Change the material greatly enhances the material's power, but doesn't add as much durability. Nope. Get down. It's electric Lazalfo's horn. Electricity is a bolt of lightning. Cook it with a critter to make an elixir. It will just charge electricity when stimulated. Zoffel's tail. Zoffel's talon. You know what I want to do? You fool blade. Get out of here. I'm going to pick you up. And then... Where is this? Um, here we go. Hold this. Drop it. Get fused. No, not that. Get Fuse going. We'll attach that there. Now we've got a nice electric spear here. Uh, not that. This. What is this? Oh, it's some kind of sled. Oh my god, wait. We can make a sand sled. And then... Grab one of these... And attach it here. Yeah! Hmm. Okay, control. Uh oh. Okay. Drive it right into here. Okay, maybe we don't. Maybe we need to avoid that. Interesting that there is one of our there is something down there. Uh oh. A volt fruit. It's resistance against electricity. Oh god. Come on. Let's go. Alright, doesn't seem like there was much here. Unfortunately. But we do have, uh, I guess a new vehicle. Um, where is... God, I have so much crap in my inventory. I mean, not really crap, but, you know, a lot of stuff. Okay. Do that. And then get us going in this direction. Here we go. All right, let's get over to whatever this settlement is. Whoa. Stray electricity thing, I don't know how much I trust that. You 
use that. Whoa, where are those dudes? Hey there, buddy. You know what? Maybe, maybe we don't screw with these guys. Wait, hold on. Sled, come back. Okay, thank goodness it stopped. So those things were, uh, hella creepy. Yeah, I don't know what the hell they were. So I'm just going to ignore that I ever saw them, and instead head over to this little oasis town thing. Right, is this a town? Yeah, it is. Here we go. Kara Kara Bazaar. Nice area. The heat bothers you. Desert Vaux Headband. Brutal armor for males. Contains sapphire, which harnesses the power of ice to make the heat more bearable. Hmm. I have to think about that. Roasted bass. Seared steak, Lizalfo's tail. A lot of good stuff being sold here. Let me uh, let me handle this. The Mayata, the Mayat Shrine, the Mayatat Shrine. God, I'm absolutely butchering these names. All right. Get the walking. A sliding device. Yeah, is it just showing me how to use these to slide? Whoa! Hmm. I feel like I shouldn't be writing this into the abyss. Wait. It's because I shouldn't. Uh oh. Ah! No! Yeah, so, um, realized a uh, hot second too late there that that's not the uh, intended solution. Uh oh. Recall, recall, recall. Ooh. Okay. Oh, oh, oh boy. Okay. Get me off this thing. Alright. Whoa. What am I controlling here? Oh, nothing. What is this? Whoa. If you run out of stamina there. Oh. Hmm. Come on, get over there. Now. Oh, God. Okay. Get over here and then jump. Here we go. Oh, what? Can I... Can I attach these to... to here? No? Oh, man. Oh, you know what I can do, pro though, probably? Yeah, because over there is a sled. So I can... get all these pieces out there. And make a, uh... a sand sled with these on it. Okay, so get this, a fan there, and grab this one, and put a fan right there, grab this, attach that there, and pull this over here, and control. Yeah! Uh-oh. Little stuck. 
Okay, problem though. Let's roll it like this. And come on, turn left. Yeah, here we go. Right. Straight ahead. Here we go. Nice. Pop this open. Visited his shrine, yada yada. Oh, that's number four. Sweet. So then, I guess, yeah, with that, I can get uh, a uh, another health thing since I already got the stamina. Tempted. Very tempted. Watermelons. No, hydro melon. And look what's that cooling effect and when cooked increase your heat resistance. Hmm. They are sixteen rupees a piece. Whoa. Arrows. How many do you want? I'll take them all. 60 rupees. All right. Oh, red choo-choo jelly. Ooh. I think I'm good for now. Definitely tempting. Hmm. Man. Cool little town. Um. I think I'll take the hydro melons. Uh, how many do I want? I'll take four. So then I'll make some uh, some food that's uh, heat resistant. Hold. Um, yeah, so I'll make some heat resistant food. Chili meat skewer. Oh, that's what I wanted to do. Hold that. Get some of that. Get some salt. And get some mushroom in there. And let's make the ultimate meal. Ooh, salt grilled gourmet meat. Hold that. Hold that. Get a great banana in there. Mighty salt grilled gourmet meat. Gour gourmet? Yes, gourmet. I did say that correctly. Uh, get some of these. Uh, so these and one of this. This should give me some pretty good fruit. Simmered fruit. That. Toss these in there. Simmered fruit. Let's put two of these together. Chili simmered fruit. And this. And I'll throw that together with some, uh, Mushrooms, some of the chili mushrooms. Uh, to endure the bitter cold. And then with this, I'll also throw in some of these. This should give me a lot of heat resistance. Yeah. All right. Uh, ooh, what's happening over here? Got sand in my eye. What's this? <laughs> Isn't this orb great? I bet it's every bit as expensive as it is old. Apparently someone in Gerudo Town is investigating all these ancient whatchamacallits. So once I get into town, I'm planning on finding somebody who knows their stuff about this stuff. Alright. 
Also, I just realized that I still have my cold pants on, so let me get my good ones on. And then... I guess become very hot. You'll take damage with your current outfit and food effects. Huh. Interesting. So that's what all this sand is, is it'll become hot. And, like, I think I also saw it was, like, blurring up my map a bit. Which is gonna be annoying, but also very interesting. Very cool way, like, to do the, the effect for this area. Because obviously, you know, desert, it's either gonna be lightning or sand, or lightning and sand. Because it seems like this place definitely, oh, hi. I'll be getting hot before too long. Hmm? Hey, what are you, listen, this is the lighthouse for the bazaar. It's not a tourist destination, or a place to play around on. Said, I guess it's fine now that you're already here. Go ahead and enjoy the view over the desert. After all, this is the only place in Karakara Bazaar where you can see over the sand shroud. Hmm. So I want to head for Gerudo Town. So I'll set up a stamp that I can see. Okay, so I see where I need to go. Is my sled still down there? I can take that through. Where is that sled? Where'd I build it? Or leave it, I guess. Um, I don't know. I guess I'll just go through here. Ooh. Okay, there appear to be quite a few of these sinkholes. Uh-oh. I'll be fine. I just gotta get to the top of this, and then I should be able to see over the, the the sand shroud, right? That's what it was called, the sand shroud? Hopefully I will at least. Get up here. Climb over this way so I make sure that I'm gonna get up there. Okay, so it's not as hot up here than it is down there. Okay, please let me see over the sand shroud while I'm up here. Okay. So I just need to head in this direction. Uh, let me get... Uh, hold on. Where was my heat resistant... Oh, I just have a chili elixir. Ooh, mm, I don't know if I want to use that. Because I had one that was... Basically only healed two. Yeah, here we go. I'll use this one. And then I'm going to get through... So I just got to head straight this way. Basically. And I'll be able to make it to the Gerudo Village. Whoa. Desert Rift? Whoa. Whoa. I don't remember this being a thing. I'm eating, like, chili food. Why is it... Oh, it was just hot down there, I think. Yeah, okay. Oh, God. Unbear unbearable heat. Okay, well, I gotta get through here. Oh, boy. Oh, my God, I can't see anything. I want to grab these. Oh god. What is that? Oh fuck, so far off. Nuh uh. Get in here. Come on. Go above. Oh. oh okay, hurry, hurry, hurry. Gotta get to the city. Oh god, it's hot. Gerudo Town. Oh. Okay. Whoa. Whoa! I 
Gimto bone, a creepy bone with multiple sharp tips attached to a weapon that greatly increases its attack power. It tends to break easily due to its odd shape. I definitely think this place is going to keep up its uh, reputation as the hardest area of the game. Oh man. What happened here? Did everyone go underground, maybe? Whoa. I'm thinking that must have been what happened, because there's nobody up here. I did see someone down here. Is that Loka? Nothing to report. Hmm? What? Well, Avo! Did you come here to escape the sand trap? You've reached the entrance to the Gerudo shelter. I cannot allow any Vo to pass through this door. Vo? Well, you've never heard that word. Vo means man in Gerudo. There's a custom, really more of a law, that we Gerudo follow. Young Gerudo are generally not allowed to interact with Vo. What's wrong? What's going on? A Vo wandered in here. What? Did you say Vo? There's nothing to worry about. The Vo is very short. It can't even reach the peepholes in the door. He's out of sight, and even on his tippy toes, he won't be able to see in. Uh. Normally, Vo aren't allowed to even set foot within the walls of Gerudo Town. But this is a unique situation. So as long as you keep out of the shelter, I'll overlook your presence in town. If you're looking for some place to get out of the sand shroud, you can rest in one of the houses on the surface. Oh, I'm not even tall enough to see through the peepholes, am I? I hope the water is current it carries my letters far and wide. They find the vow I am destined to fall for. Uh -huh. Hey, this isn't a place for junk. Don't you even think about throwing trash in. Those waters are connected to the wells on the surface. They are absolutely not a garbage dump. Uh -huh. Rude, I am not throwing trash away. These are letters. Letters to the vow of my dreams. They are very, very important. So, you're telling me that there's a river that flows underground. I can use that to sneak in. Ooh. Uh oh. Uh, guys? Where are my dudes? Hmm, I'm gonna save here. Mm, don't like, don't like this. I feel like these guys are gonna one shot me. Come on! Whoa! Okay. Maybe they're, like, really weak to, um, electricity. I think that might be what it is. Which is very helpful, actually. Hello? Hey, Petra, you see the answer is really securely blocked, right? <laughs> yep, it's very much completely blocked with a crate. Keep it down, what do you think is going to happen if this monster's outside hear us? The back entrance... You block with a crate. Yeah, don't worry, guys. Monsters are all gone. I am gonna break into your house. Well, not break into, but, you know. So I wonder... I'm gonna hit this guy with, um... Yellow choo-choo jelly. Boom! Yeah! So it definitely seems like, uh... It only seems like electricity is going to be their big weakness. Ooh. Traveler's Claymore. Oh, I should probably also equip a new bow. Okay. Let's just knock that guy down. I don't expect him to die. I don't want to waste all my stuff fighting these lesser guys. So I just, I need to find a well somewhere. Oh, but because we're inside the city. It's one for secrets. Hmm. Because we're inside the city, my guys aren't appearing, which is a little difficult. Or making it a little difficult. Going for secrets. Eek. A vow? I don't want to get caught talking to people I'm not supposed to. I gotta get back to the shelter. Quick. Why are you going that way to the shelter? Yeah. 
Anything in here? Nah, I just broke a random vase for no reason. Just a little more exploring. This is the old uh, Gerudo training grounds, right? Also another Gerudo bow. Don't mind if I do. Hmm. Oh, there's a thing up there. A shrine. Received an unsettling report from Belura today. A strange haze, some have called it gloom, is emanating from beneath Hyrule Castle. Those who touch it fall ill. But my friends Link and Zelda are in Hyrule. I'm sure that those two can get to the bottom of this problem. A new, much more worrying report has arrived. Both Link and Zelda have gone missing while exploring below Hyrule Castle. Shortly after they were lost, the castle lifted off into the sky where it was joined by countless small floating islands. So much happening all at once. What is going on in the world? And are those two safe? Things are growing more and more dire across Hyrule, and now the danger has come here as well. A sand shroud, the worst sandstorm in recent memory, has covered the area. People are taking shelter underground. We've traveled out to see if we can discern the cause of it, but we were ambushed by new monsters called Gibdos. To make matters worse, I wasn't able to accurately hit them with the lightning I can call down. We're inundated with those seeking safety from the sand shroud or the Gibbos. We still don't know what has caused this. As chief of Gerudo Town, I am to blame for these failures. The fortifications protecting the shelter are strong. There's no way the monsters will be able to break through. We are also lucky to have a good source of water in the shelter, but we must mo watch for invaders trying to use the waterways. As a precaution, we should cover the hole behind the throne. Sitting here feeling sorry for myself won't solve anything. I'm going to leave Belaria in charge of the shelter and go train. The ruins to the north aren't too far. They should be the perfect place for me to practice with my lightning. Despite my worries for my people and for the world, I must do what I can. I know that's what Zelda would advise me to do. Oh, Lady Urbosa, if only you were here with us. Watch over us all in these dark times and keep Zelda and Link safe. Hmm. So there's something behind... The throne is there. I'm also going to use this to hop up real quick. Oh, wow, I must have hit one of the rock spires. Yep. Oh, not there. Can jump through here, though. And here we go. Excuse me, a nice view above the shroud. Well, with this nice, uh, nice view, this is where I will end today's episode. Thank you all so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed, tip of YouTube stuff, like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you all in the next episode of Tears of the Kingdom. Bye.